What's up? It's Judge Dawson with another edition of Finish First, but this time it's going to be a little different. I'm going to take you on a journey with me. As you can see, I am out of court. I am done with court. I changed my clothes. I'm in my car, but I'm about to continue my day. Today's topic with Finish First is find your place. So the purpose of this particular journey that we're going to take is just to discuss finding your place, finding your space. We'll be in different locations, but the message will be just as powerful. All right, I'm back and you're following me on my journey today after court. The topic is finding your lane. I am currently at Planet Fitness where I come to find not only my lane, but my peace because physical fitness is so important to our well-being. So tip in finding your lane and where you should be, always include physical fitness. Why? Because life is short and the body that you have is the only body that you will have throughout your life. So I don't care if you're on probation, parole, you're in jail, whatever the situation may be, you may be working for a Fortune 500 company. If you are not taking care of your health, you are decreasing your lifespan. Now, one thing that people always say, well, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, and that's true. Um, death is something that's gonna happen to all of us, but what we can do is manage how we travel through life. Do you wanna travel through life with heartache? I mean, literal heartache from high blood pressure, heartburn, you know, or do you want to have any of the other diseases that you can avoid? I mean, some things in life you cannot avoid, but there are other things that you definitely can avoid. And one of the ways to avoid it is to add a health and physical fitness regimen to your life. Now, you know, I'm all about meditation, breath and movement. If I haven't said it before, I'll keep saying it. You know, I am not only a judge, but I'm a yoga teacher. I have my yoga school and a studio. So I am serious about what the body and what body movement does for your health. Every single day I get up and I have a regimen that includes mental working out, physical working out, and spiritual working out. So my message for you today, everybody watching this Finish First workshop is to work on yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. Now, what does that mean? Mentally, that means take some time out to meditate, to slow your mind down so that you are not bombarded with all the anxiety and activity of every single day. So take some time out to meditate. Spiritually, you have to connect to something. I mean, look around us. It's bigger than you, it's bigger than me. We could not have created this on our own, right? So that means there exists some higher power, no matter what it is you believe in, you know it's not all about you. And just because of that, that cause for us to connect spiritually with the divine and the beauty and the power inside of you, as well as that exists in this world. So every day, some type of meditation and thankfulness and gratefulness to the higher being that exists in this world. And then physically, you know, it's important physically, you have to move your body. If you don't move your body, it will become stagnant. Your flexibility will decrease. Your mobility will, will decrease. So you have to be serious and intentional about working out and moving your body. So as we are going through our journey, we're talking about finding your lane. My message today, right now, this moment, this segment is make physical fitness a part of your journey. It is so important. Again, if you recognize the background, I'm at Planet Fitness where I go to get my workout on. And the great thing is I don't even stay here long. I just stay here long enough to get my body moving and to make sure that I maintain my strength. So again, finish first, power yoga flow tip is make sure that you are finding your lane and include physical fitness, mental fitness, and spiritual fitness in your life right now. Here's another thought and another tip on finding your lane. Okay, so let's look at it from a physical standpoint. Your lane, the lane upon which you are traveling is very small. Any lane that carries cars and things like that, they're only so big, right? Even if you have a five lane highway, it's only five lanes. 
and within your particular lane you have to figure out who are you going to allow to travel with you who are you going to allow to take up space in your lane that is so important i had a conversation with someone today about people dumping and leaving their mess in your lane the conversation dealt with a person's work ethic and they spoke with a senior person who had more experience more wisdom uh, just based on age and experience and they mentioned to the person how that person should be okay with losing their job so they can get on unemployment and kick it and have fun and all these other things now i wasn't privy to the conversation but that's my understanding of the conversation but what i got out of that is this that person was putting poison and mess in that lane it is never good to accept mediocrity it is never good to say, you know what? I don't care about being successful. I don't care about my drive. I don't care about taking it to the next level. It is never okay to do that. But what this person was suggesting is that you'll be okay because you can get unemployment. My message today is that is a prime example of when you need to determine whether or not the person who is traveling in your lane is adding value to your journey or are they slowing you down? I would submit to you that anybody that promotes you being unproductive, lazy, or taking advantage of any system or any opportunity that is not positive, that person does not deserve to be in your lane because the seeds that they are planting, the negative seeds will produce negative crops. So the message is, as we continue down our journey about finding your lane, the message is make sure that the person you allow to be in your lane is adding value to your journey. They're not causing you to slip on an oil spill. They're not slowing you down because they're dragging along issues and negativity, but instead they are helping you on this journey so that you can get to the next level. So that's exactly what I mean by making sure that the person you are traveling with is adding value while they're taking up space in your lane let's go all right i'm back just finished my workout focus focus let's talk about focus for a moment because whenever you're traveling down your lane whatever that lane is you are required to focus and a lot of people have trouble with focus you give them a task they can't complete it you give them an assignment they may forget about it and they just have problems focusing. But in order to travel your lane to your best capacity, you have to establish the ability to focus. So for me, I practice yoga. That has given me the ability to focus. And I'll tell you that if you decide to pick up a practice like yoga, your focus will increase. Why? Because in a class, you are forced to forget about everything else you hold a particular pose for an extended period of time and your body is forced to surrender to the moment. Doing that over and over again will give you the muscles that are needed for you to learn how to focus. And I'm telling you, focus is so important to your ability to be successful. So right now, stop what you're doing, close your eyes and see if you can focus on a single thing for exactly 60 seconds. Let's go. Stop comparing yourself to them. Seriously, try your best to stop comparing yourself to others. It's a saying that's been said many, many years and it's so true that comparison is the thief of joy. Comparison is the thief of joy. You have to stop comparing yourself to other people. Now, let me give you a timeout. It is natural to compare yourself to others. That's what we do as human beings. But just because it's natural doesn't mean it's the best thing for you. I would submit to you that we have to stop comparing ourselves to people and just live your best life, whatever standard that is. But it's a natural thing. Naturally, you want to see, you know, what the person that you graduated from high school is doing now or the person on Instagram who has the same career 
goals that you have. You want to see how many likes that they get for that post versus how many likes did you get? I mean, that's a natural thing, but it is true that it will steal your joy and it will keep you in a cycle of depression. Why? Because if you're comparing yourself to others, you may never stack up to that person. Now, there are times where you will win and that person's losing, but generally speaking, you'll always exaggerate your insecurities. So you'll never stack up. So if you're talking about how your body looks versus how somebody else's body look, you're going to continually, continuously talk about the things you know that only you see in the mirror. So you're going to exaggerate your insecurities. Or if you're talking about, well, I want to start a business and they're in the same business. You're going to talk about or think about in your mind how your business is not doing well. So ladies and gentlemen, stop comparing yourself to other people because it will continue to bring you down. Instead, operate in your own lane. So remember what I am talking about during this session is a brief one is you have to find your own lane. What is it that you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to be? For instance, when you go to bed at night, what is it that you dream about? Or is there something that gets you excited, gets you going, makes you want to jump out of bed? That's the lane that you want to be in. So when you compare yourselves to other people, all those things we talked about earlier will occur. The negativity, the depression, or you may end up breaking the law, doing something that you know you shouldn't do because you're comparing yourself to somebody else and thinking that you should be further down the line. So what do you do? You cut corners. You bend the rules or you break the law. So in order to be the best that you can be, find your own lane and stay in your lane. Doesn't mean you can't cross over into other people's lanes. Like I said earlier, it doesn't mean you can't invite people to ride down the street with you, but you have to first determine what is it about your life that you want to accomplish? What is it in your life that you want to accomplish? And I'll give you one quick tip before I go. At the very least, think about it like this. When you're on your last breath and you pass away, what do you want people to say about you? What do you want your legacy to be? Because that will determine what lane you want to travel in. All right. This was a brief finish first session. It was out of court on the go. You took a journey with me and I just want to leave you with that strong message because you can be absolutely amazing when you find out what lane you're going to travel in. All right. Until next time. Take care.